pa, 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 power. <laughs> Today's test is going to be 120 grain pa, 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 power shock in 300 blackout from Federal. Generally speaking, 7.62 by 35 millimeter is like that one kid in the back who you catch eating his boogers every now and then. You feel bad for him because, you know, his clothes are always a little worn and he might be from a broken home. Well, 300 blackout just doesn't have the horsepower to push bullets as fast as its bigger brother, 7.62 by 39 millimeter. And most of the bullets that are available for it were really designed for the much faster 762 by 51 millimeter. Now I say all that not to upset the 300 fanboys, though Lord knows it will. We all know how sensitive they are. Now I say that to set expectations. Don't get me wrong, this is a solid copper hollow point and those tend to do well in any caliber. So it will probably do pretty well for 300 blackout. Enough talk though. Let's get out to the range and shoot Federal 120 grain power shock through an 8 inch AR-15 into calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. All right, so <laughs> that's pretty legit. Um, at first glance, this looks like fairly deep penetration, probably over the 18 inch max, but just barely. Let's get some measurements off of this. Total penetration, if I put these blocks back together, 19.6, neck, one inch, one and a quarter. Yeah, let's call it one and a quarter. Temporary stretch cavity is positively massive. Nine inches long by four inches wide. Let's get this bullet out of here and take a look at it. Okay, so it didn't lose any pedals. The expansion looks kind of modest. We'll get some photos of this when we get home. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up right now. If we can get this camera to focus on it. You can see these pedals here. They didn't even really expand past the Ogiv. Or is it Ogive? Or Ogiv? Jif? 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 Gif. If this is going faster, it should have expanded wider and had a little bit less penetration, probably right there in that sweet spot, 14, 16 inches or so about here. I'm thinking, like a lot of these 300 blackout bullets, this one was designed for 308 velocities, not 300 blackout. Sure, a little bit slower velocity than you might get from a 16 inch barrel, but this bullet doesn't look like it's tuned for 300 blackout velocity. Doesn't make it a bad choice, but it also doesn't make it the best choice. And if this is what it does at really close inside a room distance, then I'm guessing the performance at 100, 200 yards is getting pretty weak sauce. I would say this is not a great choice for hunting and maybe just a mediocre choice for personal defense. Alrighty then, what do we think? First, the basics. The bullet expanded and it exceeded the 12 inch minimum. So at the very least, this is not a categorical failure in my book. It did exceed the 18 inch max, but that doesn't reduce its ability to stop a fight the way that failing to meet the 12 inch minimum might. But the amount of expansion was really kind of modest. You can see that the pedals only just barely started expanding. This bullet is on the edge of its ability to expand at all, and had it expanded more, it would have penetrated less. Increased range or light barriers could keep it from expanding at all. If you're shooting this from a longer barrel, you might have better results, at least at close range, but remember that these short barrel tests come close to approximating the results that you could see at about 100 yards if you were using a 16-inch barrel for some reason. 
Although I can't figure out why anyone would want a 16 inch barrel and 300 blackout. Now this isn't a failure really. It did produce a large temporary stretch cavity with a short neck and it penetrated deeply enough to reach vital organs. So don't misunderstand my conclusion. It's not that it's a bad load, but it would be a lot better if it was lighter and faster with more pronounced expansion. And as always, suboptimal performance doesn't make it a nerf dart. Something, something, live ammo, blah, 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 something, something still pokes holes. It just isn't very close to the results seen from the best loads in this caliber. Right now, my top recommendations for home defense in 300 blackout are 110 grain TAC TX and 110 grain SST in whatever load you can find that pushes them good and fast. There are some weak sauce loads out there that are producing 1600 feet per second or slower for 110 grain bullets, which is honestly just pathetic. Now I hope you found this video informative or at the least entertaining. If you think I've earned it, please help support our channel by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And that's not just some lame garbage that YouTubers say at the end of videos. All those actions are forms of engagement that drive the decisions made by the algorithm. And because subscribing doesn't really mean anything anymore, please make sure that you click that little bell icon down there so that you can actually be subscribed for real and get a notification every time we post a new video. We're going to try bringing you a lot more regular content in the coming months. If you wanna find out how to rent a Phantom V642 or other high-speed camera like the one that I used to capture the video used in this video, contact AIMED Research. Their contact info is in the doobly-doo.